Hello and welcome to another 3D Crystal Puzzle tutorial. I make a lot of these 3D Crystal Puzzles when running this channel and the stop motion are great, but the one thing that I always get requested is, can you do a video showing me exactly how to build these puzzles? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you exactly step by step, piece by piece, how to build a 3D Crystal Puzzle. And today we're going to be featuring everybody's favorite wall crawler, Now, Spider-Man comes from the new Marvel Avengers collection. We've got Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain America, and the one that kicked it all off in the movies, Iron Man. I will say these Marvel puzzles aren't the most difficult ones to put together. Now, it's not the pirate ship or the piggy bank, but it looks very slick when it's all completed. And I'm gonna help you complete yours. But before we get into that, I just wanted to let you all know that pre-orders are open now for our spooky collection. We've got the Black Wolf, which looks like it's nice and silhouetted, howling against a full moon. We also have the vicious black shark jumping out of the water. And the ever so macabre Black Roses. Head on over to areyougame.com now to pre-order these, and they will be here in time for spooky season. But forget all that today, because right now we're going to go ahead and build Spider-Man. Now to begin, we are going to build his arms first, okay? So we're going to start with this piece right here. It is a blue bicep. Not sure if you can see that against the blue background, but it's all good. If you look closely, right there, very tiny, is the number 19. If you are using the instructions, you will notice that every single piece has a teeny tiny little number somewhere on it. And that will help you use the instructions as a guide. However, again, we don't need to do that. So, we've got our bicep, and now we've got to find the front of the bicep, which is this piece right here. It's red, it's got not quite a full little bit. It's got instead like a kind of straight hunk of plastic coming out the wrist and it's got two little pegs and those two little pegs are going to go right here. So you're going to make sure that the shoulder of the bicep attaches where the part with the bit at the end is and then the wrists should match up like that. Just squeeze them together, boom, you got a bicep. But we need a full arm, so grab a fist. Punch. And we're gonna take that fist and we're going to place it on the wrist like so. Boom, now Spider-Man has a left arm. So that's pretty cool, huh? All right, now let's build the next arm, starting once again with the blue piece. It's labeled number 17, if you need that. And then we're going to take the other red arm piece. Looks like this. Again, it has two pegs to go into the hole. And we're going to connect them like so. Once again, the part with the bit is going to be the shoulder and the part with the piece of plastic jutting out that is at the wrist there is our arm completed or the top half of our arm completed but to be fully completed we need an, uh, a hand so we're going to place the hand on uh, you'll see on this that the, uh, the piece of plastic that's jutting out one of the corners is rounded off that will help you put the hand on correctly. Yeah, like so, yeah. All right, so we've got his arms built. Now let's build his legs. Okay, so to do so, we're going to grab this piece right here. All right, uh, for those using the instructions, this is piece number 14. It's kind of got this weird, uh, you know, bit on the on the top it's not quite a bit but it's uh, it's also not just kind of a piece of plastic it's got extra to it and then on the bottom it is just a piece of plastic jutting out and of course two holes for pegs 
We're going to, instead of being red and blue, this time the leg is all blue. All right, and so we're gonna find this piece. It is piece number 23. And this is going to attach like so. Boom! All right, but no leg is completed without a foot. Something is a foot and it's this piece. All right, so this piece is just going to go onto the bottom like so. It's kind of a weird leg, but it'll make sense in the end. Uh, it's kind of curved off that way. All right, so now we've got two arms and a leg. Let's move on to the next leg. Now this leg is bent. So that'll help you differentiate between the two. Uh, this is piece number 21. And as you can see, it is a bent leg. Boop, burn. So you got the top piece, which again is a weird piece of plastic. It's kind of like curved and sharpened. I don't know how to describe it. And then we've got this hunk of plastic moving off to the side. The next piece that we're going to attach to it is piece number 16. And there's really only one way this can go, and that's like so. Bam. Okay. So now we've got his thigh completed and we need to add a foot. Boom! It's the only other foot available. And this foot's going to slide on just like that. Again, kind of looks weird, but it'll make sense in the end. Okay, now that we have all of his extremities completed, we're going to push the arms off to the side and just work with the legs for a moment. The very next piece that we're going to grab is this little Spider-Man groin. Uh, this piece will kind of look like an action figure's groin. Uh, it's got a you know a bit there where the legs starting and a bit there where the legs starting and right there is smoothed out. On the inside, it's going to have a uh, weird slot up top that'll make sense in a moment, and it will have a hole. And then there will be space right here, and that, sp oop, that space on either side of the hole is for your legs. Now remember, this is the groin that we're working on, so the legs should fit in like so. You don't want to get them mixed up because then his, it does fit if you mix it up at first, kind of, but you'll see it doesn't quite match. So, we're going to put the legs on. Boom. Whoa. Boom. Whoa. I gotta stop saying boom because then it keeps falling apart. Better yet, I'll just hold it like this because I need to anyway. The next piece that we're going to attach, however, is this. Now this is a very funny looking piece. Uh, it's got uh, a lip on the top chunk uh, there and it's kind of got a, some jagged points and then a hole straight through the center. This lip right here, that is actually going to slide in right there in that little space above the circle from earlier. All right, so now we've got these pieces all together. Next up, we've got to add the butt. Boom. It looks a lot like the groin piece, but it's a lot smoother and more curved. And we're gonna put the peg right there, right into that hole. And then squeeze it together. Once we have it squeezed together, it should be pretty solid. We got legs and those legs make a lot more sense now that you see them all put together. They're all Spider-Man-y and superhero stains. Three-point landing. Now next up, to add to this, we are going to find this piece right here. The only piece that looks even remotely close to it, ooh, it is a red kind of C-shaped. This is going to be his lower back gonna see it kind of uh, makes a sort of scarlet witch crown where it goes up and then down and back up and then and that up 
will match perfect, or the down part will match perfectly with his lower back. So it goes right there, goes around the circle in the center, and now we are going to attach this piece! This is piece number 20. You can, uh, you can see it's a fairly interesting piece. It's the only remaining piece that has a full circle in the center. All the rest are kind of just kind of half pieces. All right, so this piece is going to go and match up on his back like so. All right, so just like that. Oop. And uh, I would recommend, even though this isn't the most difficult of puzzles to figure out, it falls apart very easily. He's very thin and, uh, you know, Spider-Man-y. So if you move your puzzle the wrong way, it will fall off and make you sad. So be very careful. A tip that I often tell people and never follow myself is to use a little bit of scotch tape. You just take a piece of scotch tape and run along the completed part of the puzzle and it should hold those pieces together in time for you to put the hole through the center and make the whole thing finalized. But like I said, I'm not going to do that. Because unless you are smart and take my advice, you're not going to do it either. So let's all keep it on the up and up. Ah, natural! Next piece is piece number 15. Now this is what piece number 15 looks like. You can see it's kind of got some little cat ears on the top. Uh, and it's got a bit on this side and then on this side there's a bit below and an indention on top. Other side is the opposite indention on bottom and bit on top. We're going to go ahead and place this right here. Oop, nope. We're going to place this right here. Okay. You see what I was saying about that tape? Very, very smart. Again, I'm not doing it. It makes me very, very dumb. So this piece is together. He's kind of leaning forward. That's part of the problem is that he is kind of curved and that'll make the, top, or the puzzle very front heavy as you're building it, which is why it is easy to fall apart. The next piece we have is number 25. Now piece number 25 looks like this, and it's going to have two layers with uh, a bit of overlap with one layer. You can see there's kind of a bit on the back, a little lip there. That lip is going to be on the top, all right, and it's going to place like so, all right? So here's our Spider-Man so far. Next piece is piece number 13. Piece number 13 is going to go like this. Oh, I should probably tell you what piece number 13 looks like. Piece number 13. Gently remove it. Have it falling apart on me. There we go. This is piece number 13. Piece number 13 kind of looks like a sort of like an angry dragon. All right. Uh, there's his nose. He's got the sharp teeth. There's his mouth. Uh, it's got this kind of got this bit down there in the jaw. The other side doesn't look as much like an angry dragon, but still counts. Uh, then you're going to notice on the other side, there's a piece right there. There's an indention right there. That's where one of his arms is going to go. All right? So we're going to make sure that one's on top, that indention's on top, and we're going to place that right there. All right? And at this point, speaking of arms, let's attach one of them. We're going to go ahead and grab his right arm. So if you're looking at the puzzle from the front like this, it would be on the left hand side. It's the one that has the open palm. And we're going to place it like so in that indention that was right there. All right. So our Spider-Man's looking a lot more Spider-Man-y already. 
I'm holding it together because this thing would fall apart if I did not. Our next piece after we place that arm is piece number 22. Here's piece number 22. It's uh, got one layer that's sort of, you know, elongated and the other layer is more rounded and goes, curves off. The curved off side, that's gonna go down below. We're gonna place it just like so. Oop. I missed. Or did I? No, I didn't. Did I? Yeah, I totally did. There we go. All right. There's that piece in there. Our next piece is going to be piece number 26. This one is very interestingly shaped. Instead of just being like one or two layers, you can see that there's clearly some sculpting, some molding going on on one side. And we're going to place this like so. That extra hunk of plastic, that molding up there, is actually gonna be his shoulder holding this arm. So let's go ahead and place that arm in now. And he's kind of holding it back, like he's about to punch something or someone. Like, huh. Real superhero landing, real three-point landing pose. All right, next up, we've got the top of his shoulders, which is piece number 18. You can tell if you're following along with me, this is the last uh, blue piece that isn't the pole to go through the center, so that's an easy way to find it. Otherwise, it's one that you know has puzzle on the bottom and shoulders on top, so it should be fairly easy to figure out. The larger chunk goes on this side where his shoulder is. I'm going to go ahead and place that where it should be. Oh no! We lost an arm! And turn into a lizard next. What is this? Spider Gwen's uh, universe? That's right. I watched those movies. Oh no. Oh no. The whole thing's falling apart. We don't want it to fall apart right now because now is the most crucial moment. As you can see, he's very top heavy. And every time I shift my hands, he starts to break apart. We gotta put the pole through. So here's the pole. Oh, his hand fell off. All right. Ever so gently slide the pole. Now the pole on this one is one, you don't screw it in, you just push it in. But you want to make sure that the top matches with the rest of his body. There's kind of like a, a lip there that you can see. As long as the top of the pole lines up, then he should slide in and click together nicely. And then we hand back on because we lost the hand. All right, and there is our Spider-Man's body. But we're not quite done because we need to add the front of him, all right? And I already added the little spider sticker on the front there because I'm a purist. You gotta have all the bells and whistles on him. And then you can attach this piece, the top of his shoulders, just kind of push it on and click it into place. And there we go. Almost there because no Spider-Man is complete without a head. So there's his head. Before you attach it, you're going to want to push it together like so. Boom. And now, once we've pushed it together, we can attach the head. Once we've attached the head, that right there looks like a pretty good Spider-Man. Again, I'm a completist, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the spider sticker on the back. Boom, bang, boom. Spider sticker on the back. Our Spider-Man is done, but he needs, a place to, he needs a place to stand, you know? He can't just stand right there on the felt. So, our next piece is going to be this one! We're gonna build the base. This is piece number 10. 
All right. And going along with that is piece, is this one, which is piece number, if I can find it. You know, I'm not really sure, but it's got an indention and it's got a bit on the side there. And you'll notice that it matches perfectly right there. So we're just gonna push that in. All right, next up is piece number, piece number six. This one's piece number six. Piece number six is going to go right here, like so. And then we've got piece number nine. Now piece number nine's got the two indentions and a square hole there. I'm just gonna place it like so and pop it in. Now with the base, each of these places have a hole and a little uh, peg to put it in. We're gonna complete it with this final piece, which is piece number seven. I'm gonna push that into there. And then we're going to take our Spider-Man, and we've got a square there, and a kind of funny shaped square there. And these are going to go in the footholes right there and right there. Oh no. The base is falling apart now. There we go. And boom! Like so! There you have it. That is the Spider-Man 3D Crystal Puzzle placed together piece by piece to help you solve yours. If you're ever having trouble with the Spider-Man 3D Crystal Puzzle or any other 3D Crystal Puzzle, just so you know, head on over to areyougame.com. There we've got instructions for all the 3D Crystal Puzzles and we sell them, so check it out. Maybe pick up a Captain America or an Iron Man to complete your set. I sincerely hope that this tutorial helped you build your Spider-Man 3D Crystal Puzzle, but I want to know, what other 3D Crystal Puzzles are you working on? Which one should I do next? Uh, sound off in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a like, maybe subscribe, anything to help the algorithm. And all I gotta say is... Thanks for watching! Hey, did you like that video? Why not run down there and give it a little like? Or write in the comments what you liked about it. Better yet, you could hit this button right here to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our fun videos. Speaking of those fun videos, you can click right here to watch some of them, huh? And if you're watching this on your phone and I'm just kind of doing this and there's no buttons over there, just use your imagination. Okay, bye, love you!